Hello, Bumpy McSquigums here, and it is time once again to play a little bit more Xenonauts. That's right, this is going to be episode 9, and we are going to send the fox and the hound out to deal with the alien menace, and hopefully, ooh, they get to catch him and shoot him down immediately. After the last episode where I got ran all over the place and was unable to catch 90% of the people, I am very, very happy to actually send these folks in and catch someone. And that also means that we get... Some awesome, awesome, awesomeness. What? I don't think I'll make it in time to beat the night cycle, so I'm not going to attempt it. The fox and the hound are ready to go again. Well, that's pretty cool. Again, I hope that they can catch it. It's looking like maybe... Oh, there we go. Bam, so two scouts are going down, so we are going to have some, some hot... Uh, some hot alien barbecue here in a few minutes. I, I like that quite a bit. And I want to say... We're going to send out our main squad to the two different places. Oh. The alien alloy fabrication is done. It is finished, and that is awesome. And if you see there, the wolf battle armor is now available to research. A new generation of infantry armor manufactured from the alien materials. So, sweet. We are going to hire... All of our scientists to get that up and running as quickly as possible. I think that is going to take top priority. And then the Elenium Explosives is going to be a second fiddle to that. And we are going to launch our intercept interceptor on the bump pod down to deal with that. And it is not a night mission. Sweet. So we're going to Crash Site 13 and we will begin with hopefully no deaths and some double alien downed craft action where we get to slaughter them and just be amazing. So let's hope, let's hope that's what happens. All right, so nope, nothing there. Pop up over here, I see nothing. I'm gonna go back this way and then we're gonna pop out here and again, no sign of any UFOs, any ETs in the area, nothing. All right, so we'll take a knee there. We'll run up in this direction. This is one of the cool things about this game. I mean, there's obviously a limited number of maps. It's going to happen no matter what type of game like this you play. But you do start in different locations. Like, I remember one time I started down, well, more than one, but I started down in this area. That's where my ship was. Now we're up over in this area. So it's pretty cool to see the different starting locations and seeing the maps from different angles and... Yeah, just different. Different is good. Diversity. That's what we're looking for. Alright, I think we're going to send one group down that way, one group over this way. I think that's going to be just fine. So we're going to move him... I think we'll go send him for the long haul. Way up over here. Hopefully he's protected. We'll also send a sniper out. Hide him behind a rock. And that means we're going to send Captain Splody Splode over here. And... Oh, I don't know. Okay. And then Nicole Hernandez is going to be the sniper for this side. Alright, so we're going to end our turn and see what happens. Sounds like aliens are moving around in their ship. Or coming out of their ship, perhaps. I'm not entirely certain. No sighting just yet. Hmm. I'm not sure what to do at this point. I want to move forward more, but I'm kind of hesitant to do so. What I'm going to do is take a knee here. Same thing with him, and then we're going to move our other squad, and then we're going to see what actually is going down. Nothing. And apparently there's someone to my left. Way out over there in the trees. Nice. Shoot some laser ourselves. Oh, they're going to plasma down the tree a little bit. That's okay. And I think I'm going to run up in the place right here. And then the next turn, if I can, I'm going to get a good flanking position, I, I hope. Alright, I'm going to get my guy facing that way. And then I'm going to run up behind. And, okay, that's not bad. And then you, sir, Jordan, you need to catch your butt up to the rest of your squad, fool. 
Run, man! Alright, so down he is. And here we go. Ooh, and the tree is gone. And... Good, he missed. Oh, I hear some more alien activity in and around their ship. Which I'm not entirely sure where the ship is, but... That is okay. Alright, I think what I want to do... Is actually get, like, right up in his face and then crouch. And then we're going to utilize my boy here. A little major mutanot, and he's just gonna be like, "What you say?" And then blow him away. A little laser pistol. Well, I guess it's not pistol action. Oh, that's unfortunate. All right, can we get a shot with our sniper? I think we might be able to actually. Oh yeah, we can. Boom! Get bam! Down he goes. <clears throat> and things are looking sweet, sweet, nice for us. All right. Excellent. And there still seems to be a lot of area to cover. I'm not sure what to do. This map is pretty large. All things considered. And I am not finding any aliens at all. So what I think I'm going to do now is probably come over here and face it this way. And then maybe have... This is probably a mistake. <clears throat> it's not like I haven't made them before, guys. So, bear that in mind. Definitely not progressing the way I should. This is not highly recommended by anyone, especially me. I definitely don't recommend that you mimic every single move I make or what I do. Because you're usually going to lose valuable troops this way. But, I told you guys I'm stubborn and I am over-aggressive and I will not change. That is my style of play, and it is not a good style, but it works for me, and then eventually I'll get to the point where things start to get bad, and I'll get upset, and then I'll start playing better. I just have to hit that point, and I haven't hit it yet, so... It's definitely not a good philosophy to run the game by, though. I will say that much. Waiting till bad stuff happens to change your strategy or tactics? Not exactly a great plan. But, as it stands right now, things are not going super horrible for us. Yet. I imagine that could change at any moment. In fact, I assume it will change at some point. We're going to crouch. Ooh, I should have moved in cover. It's fine. Too late. I wouldn't be able to crouch had I moved, though. That's the thing. Alright. Let's take a look. Nothing, nothing. Which means the alien vessel can only be right in this general region. So, that's all well and good. I will move Pete Holmes up into the place to be. And Captain Jordan Robinson shall also move forward. And bam, bam, and... Yeah, we'll run up over here, why not? So the Xenonauts have scoured the place. We've taken down one... One alien thus far. It sounded like I heard two... Oh, jeez. Oh, that is a terrifying spot. I'm glad you decided to fire on this one. That was not in the playbook. But it worked out. Alright, well... One of the best ways to get rid of aliens... Shoot them in the back. I know. Seems dishonorable, but... When it's you versus them... And the fate of the planet is in your hands... You do the dishonorable thing sometimes. Sometimes you just have to man up and do it. Alright, so we will continue forward. I think we're down to only the remaining ones in the ship. Could be wrong. I mean, I wasn't expecting the guy to be in like one of the three black squares left on the map. So that was, that was new. That was not something I was expecting. I don't think that he... Oh, I see he's not outfitted right. It's fine. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. Alright. That's fine. We'll get him down. Oh, he's already moved. Uh, you. You get over here, Nicole Hernandez. You have a work to do. What that work... Oh gosh, that's not good. I hope they miss a lot. Alright, um... 
Reedeth. He took some gunfire. Oh, and he's in a terrible spot. Well, there you go, guys. Greed and overaggression. Not good. So, now we can only hope for a bout of good luck that the aliens actually miss, like, every single attack. Because that's the only way we're going to get out of this unscathed. I suppose... Nope, I need 42. Alright, here we go. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh he's still alive. Oh my gosh, he's a freaking tank. What? I think that was Nate Boru. I'm not entirely sure, but Nate Boru being a boss. Soaking up some... Oh, it's Jordan. Soaking up some damage. Doing what he do. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't run that way. Oh, gosh, that's a terrible, terrible, terrible way to go. You fool. Alright. Alright, so we can get a good shot here. And I think we can take another one. And down he goes. Alright, so we did manage that at least. Alright, we gotta get up front and protect him because he is just in terrible position. And he's bleeding. And we need to get someone within range to actually help him out. And I think it's going to be... not me, I don't think I can make it. I think the only one who's actually got the TUs to make it to him to actually do anything is going to be Mutana. And hopefully, bam, there we go. Hopefully no aliens come out and shoot Mutana while his gun is down, because that would be unpleasant. Nate Boru bringing up the backside here. And we're going to end our turn once again. The aliens sally forth and declare themselves, or they hide in a base and wait for us to slaughter them? I'm assuming it's going to be the latter, but you never know. Alright, I think he is now as healthy as he's going to be. We're going to swap back over to the shotgun laser type thing. And we're going to move our two shieldy folk up. Shieldy folk one. Shieldy folk two. And we'll get Mutana in behind. And we'll even crouch, why not? Jordan's going to go back and grab his wonderful gun that he decided that he didn't want to carry around while he ran in fear. I don't blame him necessarily. Not saying that was a good thing to do, I just don't necessarily blame him for that. I'll send my sniper off to the side. I want Nate Boru and the other part of the breaching dealy. Get Mr. Pete Holmes here to swap his grenade type action thing here to something a little less lethal. And it leaves Nicole Hernandez to get over here. And that's two, four, six, seven. Did I miss a one? It's two, four, six, eight. Oh, that's eight. Alright. I can I can do simple counting. It's true. I don't know what's going on. Also, I forgot to start my clock. Fantastic. So I have no idea how long this episode's gonna be running. It's fine. It is absolutely 100% fine. Alright, so we're going to go there, there, and I guess we'll pop him in behind. Pop a squat, and we'll end our turn, and we'll breach in this next little bit here. And really, really hope everything transpires as I plan it. Thank goodness my guy was tanky. Really, just the two, huh? Alright, MDB, don't miss, buddy double suppression and we go back and out I'm going to take a pot shot but I don't want to I want to take a one of those type dealies and then you can move out and then let's see yeah. oh, I'm feeling pretty bold let's let's see what we can do with this nothing else destroy the cover no that was enough oh there's someone else oh my goodness he was hidden from me. Captain Reedeth, get into position right in front of his face. And then the crouching, and then the shooting. And then the shooting again, no, no, the shooting again. Alright, well, we're gonna get Mutanot up there to do his deal. He's gonna handle things, and bam, hand, oh, not handled. Handled? Handled. And boom goes the dynamite. No one got killed, only one dude got somewhat hurt, not ridiculously so. And definitely some stat gainage. Captain Jordan got quite a few there as well. 
And let's see, no medals, but everyone's now a lieutenant or higher, which is pretty sweet. Even MD, or yeah, MDB45424 is rocking the high skill levels. So what, look, no one died at all on the good side, everyone died on the bad side. We got all sorts of stuff, and I think this is the most I've made so far, 73,000. What? Like a boss. All right, now we're going to select a new target, and we're going to hope that we don't get Jordan killed. And we're going to go and do another mission. And then after the double mission, we're going to end the episode. And then we're going to come right back for the next episode, guys. Because today is Sunday. I actually have a little bit of time. I'm going to give you guys a double dose of Xenonauts. Just so you guys can enjoy. For prosperity. All right. So this map looks familiar. <clears throat> this is the exact same map we were just on. Only this is that other landing location that I was talking about. Surprise! But, like I said, it's good to see that they have done some diversification. Diversification! Alright, so we're going to move forward and do our normal preliminary scouting. We're going to hop down over here. We're going to take a look inside. Nothing there. And I think I'm going to stop right there. Mostly because I have to, due to the fact that there's no way to move forward. This isn't exactly the same. It's very similar. This actually changed slightly. This used to look a little different. Alright. And I see nothing. In fact, I'm going to back up and hold there. I want to get Mutana up in the mix. See what's in this building. So I know that there's one dude in there, but there might be aliens hiding as well. It's like we're free and clear on that front. Okay. Well, that's all well and good. We will get Shieldy McShields a lot over here. Good old Reedith. To go westward, or south, left. I, I got nothing. We're going to go in the other direction. Oops, did not want to turn that way. That's awkward. And we're going to get maybe some cover fire from Nicole. There we go. And put him where hopefully he can't do any damage. It's doubtful, but maybe. And we'll see what happens. So our first move out hopefully doesn't meet with tragedy. Okay, well, there was some mind controlling going on there. Maybe we can capture that mind control thing. I did find that that is not the officer that we need to capture, by the way. That is a different alien altogether. It's a psionic alien, I'm sure you guys know. All right, do we have a shot on him? We do, and a pretty darn good one at that. And we missed with a 95% chance because we are bosses. We only missed once, and we took him out in one shot, which is sweet, sweet, nice. We're going to move our shieldy person up forward. And we're going to take a look around, and we're going to see probably a lot of nothing. And we're going to hope it's all okay. Take a look around again. Still seeing a lot of nothing. And we're just going to move forward with that. We're going to move a sniper, Nicole Hernandez, up into the mix as well. And hope that between the two of them, they can keep each other safe and not fall. Pete Holmes is going to step forward and take a knee. There we go. I think I'm going to run through out the other side of this building and see what's out here. It's like a lot of nothing, which I don't hate. don't hate a lot of nothing. And then we're going to move across the way with Nate Boru and hope that he gets into cover decently well. Okay, that leaves number two, Jordan Robinson, the weak, squishy guy right now. Actually, yeah, he's still really weak. He's got 39 out of 37 health. Don't know how you have two more health than you can possibly have, but you do it, and you do it nicely. Congratulations and kudos to you. All right, so let's end our turn, see what happens next. Bring it on. Come on, come on, come on. Please, make your move. Ooh, the local forces are making their move. All right, let's go take a look with MDB. I'm seeing nothing so far. Oh, well, there's the alien ship. Guess I'm going to start moving toward that. 
I move up here as well. I face that way and take a knee. I come over here to Nate Boru. See what he sees on the other side of this. A lot of nothing going down. We like a whole lot of nothing. Alright, so there we go. Let's get me, I'm still bumpy McSquiggums, up into the mix as well. And Mutana can get a little closer. I don't want to go there. I'm going to go here. And we'll see. Take a knee there with him. And we will move out into this direction. And I think we're going to send most of the rest of our people back. Simply put... There's a good chance there's no remaining aliens out and about, so... If we can avoid having to waste time looking for... Oh! Totally wrong. That was a heck of a shot. That was a heck of a shot. I don't, know, I don't even know how he managed that. And why he would have chose that as a target. That was a long shot and it just clipped. But still, kudos to them. So that hit Mutana in the side of the head. Barely did any damage at all, but... Tell you what, not pleasant. How do you like it, huh? Huh? You want to shoot somebody in the face? Is that the new? Th is that the cool thing to do nowadays? Shoot people in the face, huh? You might get shot in the butt. Oh, come on, that was ridiculous. Um. Well. I'm moving over here and taking a shot. Boom, down he goes. Alright, sweet. So that worked out. Wasn't entirely sure. Alright, we're going to take these and put it into a Z gun. We're not going to crouch because we can't. He's fine. You know, might as well. I have all the TUs in the world, so why not heal myself back up? Bam. Alright, not a biggie. And swap back over, and we're good. And we'll get Nate Boru to move forward as well. Every time I say there should be no more aliens out and about, I'm 100% wrong. I don't know if it's 100%. It's a pretty high percentage chance that I'm going to be wrong in that. And I think I show that each and every episode, guys. I have no idea what I'm talking about. No, it's just I can't quite judge like I used to. It was pretty cut and dry before the changes that they made with the release patch, so I haven't quite adapted 100%. I feel I'm doing better, I mean, less and less my people are getting murdered every single time I play, but that's not to say in my solo playthrough that's true. Oh my gosh, I've had such horrible strategy or just bad luck, or I don't know what you want to call it. I've done really, really poorly with my more recent uh, solo play on this game. It's, it's quite embarrassing. Like, just... It's bad. Alright, well, in other news, let us get our soldiers up into position. It is time to start sieging the enemy assault craft here. And I'm even prepared to use some uh, rocketation up on this thing. I'm gonna get, uh, get, uh, get on the bus, get these people moving, and get going. Alright, up, up, up. Everyone, everyone, yes, everyone's moved. At least closer, maybe not 100% into position. Don't you dare freak out on me, man. Hold it together. Hold it together. Is that Redith or MDB? Well, we'll know if he panics, it's MDB. If it, if it doesn't, it's Redith. It's Redith. MDB's got some weaker constitution than Redith does, that's for sure. Alright, onward and upward. We're going to go get into position with him. I think I'm going to throw him directly behind and crouched. Um, Yutanon's going to be behind and crouched there. We get him off to the side, looking the right way. I think I'm going to move here. Facing the correct way. I'm going to move here. Also facing the correct way, and... 
Oh, that's going to be our final one. Can't move any further. Nope. So not this turn, but the following turn, we are going to be breaching the sheep. And hope it's enough. And then that should end this episode. And then we have to come back and do it all over again. Because, again, double dose of Xenonauts today, guys. A double dose. So I think we're getting pretty close to the point where the Corvettes are going to start showing up. I know this because, again, I had to do this twice. So I'm pretty excited by that. It went well, actually, too, when I actually assaulted the Xenonauts. Uh, or not the, the aliens. Corvette class fighter, cruiser, or whatever you want to call it. It went pretty darn good. So I'm, I'm excited and eager to try that out. Alright, Mutata has become unnerved. Suck it up, princess. Suck it up. As long as you don't panic and flee, we're fine. <sighs> Why am I surprised? Why am I surprised? I even moved the wrong person into position, so whatever. Alright, so we'll end our turn and hope that we can go one more time without the panicked mutant. And I think we're just going to go with it. We're not going to wait another turn. We're just going to breach with our current troops in the positions that they are in. Mutant, are you recovered? You are. Good job, buddy. And we have contact. Alright, so let's see what we can make happen here. I'll lob a grenade over this way. And eat a shot. It's fine. And then we're going to lob a grenade over this way. Okay. And all the suppressive fire we could ever need, want, or ask for is now done. I'm going to hope that I can move him out. And back. And then we're going to stand him up. And he is going to move in here. How big of a... Oh, it's a pretty big radius. We're going to give it a shot. It's a really low percent chance to hit. Hmm. Perhaps we'll try lobbing the grenade. Ah, let's do it. Alright, so hopefully we've captured that guy now. And Pete Holmes can back himself out of the way. That means that we have a pretty good shot with our sniper here. One single shot, and... Okay. Ooh, another one there. Excellent. And we can't do anything more with that. Nate Boru's got a shot here. Let's see if he can actually do something. Take him a step out, and then... Boom, down he goes. Is that going to be it? Nope, that is not it. Alright, step forward and in here with their boy. Oh, I hope he doesn't run through the gas. Okay, looks like he avoided it. Excellent. And we're going to get Jordan up in the mix as well. And then we're going to get one of our shieldy guys to get in there and do some shieldy gas stuff. And it should be fine. Alright. So, I guess we'll move MDB in there. MDB45424, you get to do some work, buddy. In theory, the final alien or two or three or ten or fifty, however many they can fit back in the little, little secludo pod, the VIP pod, if you prefer. Alright, we're going to move there, we're going to move here, and then in two turns, I think we'll actually be able to do uh, the breach. The full breach of the back room. The shield is not at full strength. It's okay though. Gonna move Mutana in, and then Jordan is gonna follow suit, and then we're gonna give it a shot. Hopefully, the three man team is enough to breach, break, and destroy anyone back there. I'm going to open the door once again. I wish these didn't have automatically closing doors, it is rather frustrating. I shoot him in the face, point blank. Excellent. And I'm going to try the same thing with this guy. Boom. And down they go, and that should be the victory. And indeed it is. So Mutanak took a little, little pink off his helmet. He's no, you know, he's not any worse to the wear. You know, it's like a shaving scratch. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Jordan survived the second combat without taking any additional damage, which is excellent. 
And it looks like Nicole has been promoted to Major, and I have been promoted to Captain. So, sweet, sweet, nice. Good stats all around, and another 72,000 in sales. So, really, really good. And I believe at this point, guys, it might be a little bit of a shorter episode. It might not be. I don't I forgot to start my clock. I'm assuming it might be a little shorter. But that's going to do it for this particular episode. But don't worry, I'll be right back with the next episode. Until then, guys, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later.